Because of before, you're most welcome to yet another lesson on social studies. Um, before we can go far, uh, last two, uh, in the previous lesson, I left you with some work uh, for us to do as an activity. So I believe you finished the work and now it's time for us to have corrections. And so uh, let me hope you got your pencil right with you and you got your exercise book. Uh, I want us to begin. Okay, let's start with number one. Number one was reading, give the meaning of the term physical features. So our answer, sorry, our answer here is physical features are the landforms. Are the landforms? Of the of an area, so there are very many answers. I remember about physical features, but the word that we eliminate is natural landform. So we say physical features are the landforms of an area, or physical features are the landforms found on the earth's surface, or physical features are the uh, landforms that are found on the. Uh, are found on or on the earth's surface. So uh, let's go with that one. Number two. Number two was asking you to get, write down three examples of physical features. Simple, we have mountains. Mountains, just look in the environment and mention them. We have lakes. We have lakes, we have rivers. But you say the one which covers the largest part is called the plateau. Write the word plate, then are you plateau. Number three. Number three uh, was asking you to uh, name the physical feature which covers the largest part of Uganda, and you say it is called what? Plateau. Plateau. Number four. Number four. Uh, you are asked to uh, define what are, are to give the meaning of the word relief physical features. So we say relief physical features are the, are the lowlands and highlands of an area. Good. The physical features are the lowlands and highlands of an area. Lowlands is one word. Lowlands of an area. Number five is measure two examples of relief physical features. Five, two examples of relief physical features. We have mountains. We have mountains. We can talk about hills. You can talk about the Rift Valley, Rift Valley, as well as what valleys. Good. Number six. Number six was why are lakes referred to as drainage uh, physical features? Lakes are referred to as drainage physical features because they have water in them. So we say lakes have water in. Lakes have water in them. Lakes have water in it, them. That's why we call them what? Uh, uh, drainage physical. Um, that's why we call them what? Drainage physical features. Then, lastly, number seven is draw map symbols to represent the following a mountain. Mountain. So here, um, our diagram 
or our illustration is going to be a triangle like that, which is not a shaded. Okay. Sorry, sorry here. Mountain. So here we say it's going to be a triangle without uh, shading it. When you shade, becomes the symbol becomes a mountain peak. Number B was asking you to draw a map symbol to represent uh, to represent a hill. We say sometimes a symbol of a hill is a resemble that of a what of a uh, a contour, so we shall have just with the hill we go, we go circular like, like that. So this is the symbol of a mountain and this is a symbol of a hill. Remember it's not a mountain a peak, that's why I have not shaded it. Uh, this is a symbol of a mountain. Get a difference between a symbol of a mountain and a symbol of a mountain peak. So if you got all this right, then give yourself excellent. Uh, if you fail it too, maybe say very good. If you fail, maybe three, say good work. Uh, then if it's not really good, then you have to be uh, 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 fair to yourself and you say uh, try harder. So that's the activity and these are the answers for the activity that we, we had the other time. So let me give you time to, to make corrections as we plan for the new lesson. Okay, good. So now, let's go to uh, yet our new lesson of today. And this time we are going to talk about rivers in our, our district. Rivers in our district. So, is this a new thing? It's, I don't think it's a new thing to you. You know what a river is. You know, water normally flows. Sometimes we say water runs, but water does not run, but we say water flows. We see water flowing on the earth's surface. It's either in large amount or in small amount. So the water which flows in large amount is what you are terming as a what? A river. So how can you define a river in this case? We say a river is a large, or you can say a massive flow of water on the earth's surface. It's the flow, a, large, a massive flow of water on the earth's surface. That's how we can define a what? A river. Now we say rivers are divided, or they are divided into two types. The first type we can talk about is seasonal. Rivers, we have what term as seasonal rivers, and we have what term as what? Uh, permanent rivers. Another name for season, we call them seasonal because they flow during only a certain season. And we call them permanent because they are there forever, they cannot go anywhere. So they exist forever all throughout the, the year. That's why we call them a permanent. We shall have uh, other names as we are going to have a look at, at, at them. So let's have a, a meaning of the term rivers. We say river, we say a river. A river. Okay. Is a large mass. A large A river is a large mass of water flowing on the earth's surface. Thus, what we say, a river is a large mass of water flowing on the earth's surface. We say water flows, but uh, depends on how much it's flowing. Is it uh, little? Is it much? So when you see a large mass of water, 
This time we shall not see a stream, a large mass of water flowing on the earth's surface. We call that a what? Huh? A river. And so, uh, we sh in Uganda we have very many uh, rivers. So we shall look at the examples of rivers. Uh, examples of, of rivers in, in Uganda. In Uganda. Examples of rivers in Uganda. Maybe where you live, there are rivers which flow uh, as per your district. But in Uganda, there are very many rivers that you can have a look at. And so, um, the first example here of a, a river in Uganda is what? River Nile. We have river, river Nile is the first example of a river we have in Uganda. The second one is river Kagera, river Kagera, Kagera. We also have, we also have river Katonga, river Katonga, river Katonga. We also have river, river Kafu, not Kafu but river Kafu. Then we have also River Achua, River Achua, River Achua, then we have River Semuki, Semuki, we have River Semuki, yeah, then we have also, yeah, if we can talk about, let's talk about the major ones, for example, uh, for instance, these are the major rivers that we have in it, Uganda. Uh, they are the major rivers that we have in it. Others, for example, we have River Mpologoma. River Mpologoma. 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 We have River Mpanga. River Mpanga. We have River Paga, River Paga, River Paga. So there are very many, the list is endless. The list is what? Endless. And at this time here, or at this moment, I just want us to have one moment. Let's have a chat showing uh, or locating these rivers. Where do you think we can locate these rivers in Uganda? So our chat is simply talking about location, location of major rivers in Uganda. So on this map here, as you can look, um, what do you think are the major rivers that you can locate on our map here? We say, uh, let's talk about river, river Nile. Now, what's special about river Nile? River Nile is the longest river in Uganda and in the world at large. So, where is it located? We say it starts from this lake called Lake Victoria. This lake is called Lake Victoria. So it starts flowing from Lake Victoria and it goes into another lake called Lake Choga. Then it continues uh, into Lake Albert and it continues on its way to South Sudan. So this river here uh, is divided into two parts. The first part is called Victoria Nile, another part is called Alberti Nile. Victoria Nile flows from Lake Victoria into Lake Choga, from Lake Choga into Lake Albert. So that section or that part we call it Victoria Nile. Now from Lake Albert on to South Sudan, we call it what? The Alberti Nile. So we say the first one is called River Nile. But divided into two parts, Victoria Nile and Alberti Nile. Let's talk about River Kagera here. Where can we locate River Kagera on the map of Uganda? River Kagera is located down. Remember this country, neighboring Uganda is called what? Tanzania to the south. And this one in the southwest called it Rwanda. So the river runs on the border of Uganda and Tanzania. And so therefore we call this river River Kagera. We call it River Kagera. It forms a natural boundary between these two countries. 
uh, Tanzania and Uganda. So that's how it is important politically. Right? If they ask you what's the political importance of River Kagera, we said it forms a border between Tanzania and Uganda. Okay, let's go to another river here. We have another one called River Katonga. It's called River Katonga. River Katonga also flows in the central part of Uganda and connects two major lakes. This lake here, the biggest here is the one we're calling Lake Victoria. And this small one here is the one we're calling Lake George. We call it Lake George. So this river here flows or connects these two lakes here, Lake Victoria and Lake George. So it flows uh, and connects the two. So we call it uh, River Katonga. It's called what? River Katonga. Let's go to River Polokoma here. It's not on our map here. It's also found just within here on the map. We have River Panga. It's also found in the western part of Uganda here. Then we have River Kafu. River Kafu is here. It connects also two lakes. Which lake is this? Connects Lake, uh, lake Choga and Lake Albert. This river is called River Kafu. It's called what? River Kafu. So uh, it's also one of the major rivers in Uganda. We have another one called River Achua. On the, our map, where can you locate River Achua? River Achua flows in the, uh, from the north here. We say it joins uh, Alberti or River Nile. It flows, uh, flows from the swamps here and flows into Alberti Nile. So it's found in the northern part of Uganda. Then we have River Semliki. It's called River Semliki. Not Mili. River Semliki. River Semliki. This one is located in the western part. It also connects, it connects also two lakes, Lake Albert and another new lake here which you may not know, which is called Lake Edward. It's called Lake Edward. So these are the, some of the major rivers that we have in, it, in it, Uganda. So maybe to think about now, we said name the longest river in it, Uganda. Which one is that? You said, as you can see, this one which flows through lakes and continues into Sudan, into, uh, into South Sudan. No, this country is called South Sudan. Then into Sudan main and continues to Egypt, then to go to the Mediterranean Sea. So it's a river night, it's the longest river in Uganda. Now, mention two rivers that form natural boundaries to Uganda. We say rivers make natural boundaries between what and what. One is the river Kagera, which forms a natural boundary between Tanzania and Uganda because it flows on its border here. That's why I said it makes a natural boundary. We have also another one here which flows in the western part. We call it River Semilki. River Semilki also forms a natural boundary between Uganda and the Democratic Republic of Congo, this country which is in the west of Congo. Uganda. So those are the examples of rivers that we have in Uganda. Let me hope you picked, you picked uh, the examples of these rivers. And now, can you run through your list? Do you have any river which flows through your district? Is there any? Perhaps. In case there, then uh, I can say if you live within Kampala here, or if you live in Nigeria, of course, you'll be seeing river, river Nile. In case you're from the west, you'll be seeing this. In case you're from central, you'll have river Katonga. In case you cross to the north, then you cross river Kafu. You also cross the right, uh, you also cross Victoria Nile. In, go, in case you go to the east, you also cross a uh, river Nile as you go to the, to the east. So I think you can now Locate those in case you live in Kampala. Can you think about the river that is found in Kampala? Do you have any? I don't think. In case you live in Kampala, you don't have a what? Uh, we don't have a permanent river. The one, the water you normally see, uh, 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 
uh, waters from the what? From the channel, for example, a Chivuvo channel. So that one cannot qualify to be called a what? A river. There are small water streams that flow. But in case streams, you see, you see them what? Flooding because water collects from different places into them and they make the volumes what? Bigger. But they, though they are bigger, they don't qualify yet to be called what? Rivers in it. In, in Kampala, in our district, what? Kampala. So, let me hope you take a, a minute to look at that map and you locate those in, examples of rivers in Uganda. Right. So, right now, I want us to have just a small, a little view on the what? On the uh, types of rivers. Types. Types of, of rivers. Types of what? Rivers. So most of these rivers that you, you talked about are divided into terms as what? Types. And the first type here is, we have what term as? Permanent. Permanent. Permanent rivers. Uh, permanent rivers. Sometimes you find, and I, I find that they are called what? Uh, perennial rivers, perennial. They are called perennial, perennial what? Perennial rivers. B. So when you look at, let's go back to our map here. When you look at all uh, these rivers that you put on the map, you are calling them major. So they are called permanent rivers. Or shall call them what? Perennial rivers. I know you talked about perennial crops. Perennial means they are there. They, they, take, they take long. They cannot, uh, they cannot what? dry up for this matter. We said permanent rivers are rivers which flow throughout the year. They, they flow. These are rivers which do what? Flow throughout. Throughout. Throughout the, the year. Rivers which flow throughout the year are called what? Permanent. Or we call them what? Uh, perennial rivers. They flow throughout the, throughout the, the year. So I hope you finish this. Are you looking at this? I want us to remove it and you also add more information. All right, class, like you said, uh, the first type of river uh, is called, or river is called what? Permanent rivers. And we say permanent rivers are rivers which flow throughout the year. Now, the second type of river is called what? Seasonal, or we call them annual rivers. We say these types of rivers flow only during wet season. They only flow during what? Wet season. So, we say... Whenever it rains heavily, you see the, uh, the, what? the rivers flowing. By the moment you go into dry seasons, we see the rivers drying it up. So we call such rivers seasonal or annual rivers. We say they flow only during, during waiting. They flow in during wet season. These are rivers which flow only during wet season. So, what are examples here? Remember, I said with permanent rivers include all those that we indicated on the map of Uganda as major rivers. So, mention them. We have River Nile. We have River. Uh, Kagera, we have River Katonga, we have River Sanuki, we have River Achua. So all those are called permanent, permanent rivers. So let's look about some few examples of what? Examples. Examples of, of examples of seasonal rivers.
Let's talk about these examples of seasonal rivers. We say uh, one of them is called River Pongo. River Pongo. Love River Pongo. B, we have River. River Paga. River Paga is found on the River uh, or River Achua. Um, up in the northern part of Uganda, this one is in the cent uh, central area of, uh, from River Kafu. Then we have also another one as River Mpologoma. River Mpologoma. River. River Mpologoma. So for this matter, let's look, talk about those as examples of, uh, of what? Seasonal rivers in Uganda. But like I've said, do you, you see any of this in your district where you're living? If you're living in Kampala, uh, then I can say, Kampala, I don't think you have this in the, uh, this river. So we are just looking at them since you are also, uh, our district comes what? Uganda. Also, this is under Uganda, so we have a look at it, these rivers here. And now, we said, of all these rivers you named, which one is the longest river in Uganda? So we are saying, point to note, NB, the longest river. The longest river in Uganda is River Nile. Is River Nile. The longest river in Uganda is River Nile. But earlier on, like I explained, River Nile is divided into two sections. The first one is called uh, Victoria Nile, and the second section, uh, section is called Alberti Nile, as we, we, we looked at it on the map of. Uganda. So, class, um, right now we want us, uh, we would like to have a look at parts of a river. When a river is flowing, it flows into parts. A river flows. Can I talk? Now we have it in mind that the longest river in Uganda is River Nile. So, having looked at now the types of rivers, examples of rivers, let's look at the parts of a river. When a river is flowing, you know, just an, uh, to take an example, when you, when you are walking, sometimes you have friends whom we walk with. So, we find that they either join us on their way, or we find them on their way, or uh, uh, as you walk, you find that uh, some of them will leave you and you, and, and you continue with your journey to where you are. You're going. So let's look at where the river starts from. A point where a river starts from is where we term as a river source. A river source is the point where a river starts to flow to a certain direction. And so for this matter, our water is flowing in, in this direction. It is flowing from the, from the source to where it ends. So a point where the river ends is what term as a river mouth. So a river source can be a lake, it can be a, a swamp, it can be maybe a sea or ocean. So where that water starts from or that river starts from is what term as a river source. And the point where it ends, it can also be a lake, it can also be a, an ocean, it can be a swamp. Where it ends is also what term as the word? A river mouth. So there are two important points here. Where it starts from and where it ends. Where it starts from is called a river source. And where it ends is what term as the word? A river mouth. Like I said, when you uh, move sometimes, you are going by friends. Just like a road. A road has got what term as a roundabout, has got what term as a junction. So a place where two roads meet is referred to as can be a junction. But so here with the rivers, they also have areas where they meet from. And so when two rivers meet at one point, 
that area or that place they meet from is called a river confluence. It's called what? A river confluence. A river confluence, that area where the two rivers and all three rivers are what? Are meeting. So we call it a river confluence. As you join, as you move still, you have also friends who join you. Also rivers have other small uh, streams or uh, river that uh, that join them on their way to the to the to the mouth. And so this the river, these three types of rivers are called tributaries. They are called what? Tributaries. So therefore, a tributary is this small river that flows into a many river. We are going to have more explanation about them. Let's look about this part also, this part of a river. We have this river which is flowing towards this direction. Get a difference. You have this, the arrows are entering into the river and you have this one which are, are getting out of that river. So the ones which are getting out of a river or flowing away from the river, we call them what? Distributaries. The word is this from the word tree, uh, to add on the word what? Tree. This is what? This distributary. It's called the what? Distributary. It's a river which is flowing away from our main river here. So once the water here now continues to where our mouth is, and when the river is about to reach a mouth, some rivers open wide, are white and some uh, leaves islands or places with the land uh, in it. And as they flow in different, uh, from different sides, and the mid, in the middle area, land is what? Is it left? And so this area, the one you are calling a what? A delta. This is now land, which is within, found within a what? A river. So we are going to talk about more about uh, these parts of a river in detail as we explain them. So uh, I think this is enough for today and I just want us to have an activity uh, just to take on what you've learned uh, today. So let's have an activity to add on this please. So children, this is the activity that is going to take us on what you've covered here. The first question is, mention the longest river in Uganda. Number two, apart from, uh, apart from the river mentioned above, write down two other rivers in Uganda. Number three, what are seasonal rivers? Number four, name any two parts of a river. So there are only four numbers. I hope they do you well. Sit and write them down. And next time I come back, we shall have questions about the same. Thank you for being good children. Uh, I wish you well.